Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We are here in Theoswar, that's the name of this place. For a moment I couldn't remember. But yeah, we're here in Theoswar, about to begin the Girl Power Off Contest. You might remember at the end of the last episode I couldn't find where I was supposed to go to begin the contest. Turns out, it's based on the time of day. And there was no information to actually inform me of that, much to my annoyance. But hey, I've got it now, so yeah. Time to begin Korra's Blade Quest. Oh, I see you haven't run away yet. Well done, I'm proud of you. Au contraire, my little croissant. It is I who am proud of you. I thought you'd be turning tail at the threat of taking on my relentless girl power. You'd better not underestimate me, Korra. You're the one that's going to be routed by my awesome girl power. Tee hee hee. Ha 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 ha. Well, since we've agreed that we're going to put our girl power to the test, we need to decide how. Indeed we must. Actually, I haven't given it much thought. Okay, how about this? We'll get a few people to act as judges. It'll be their job to decide who's got the most girl power. And it'll be our job to each persuade them we have more of it than the other one does. Does that sound fair to you? Oh, absolutely. I love girl talk. I'm very confident about this. Okay, let's grab someone walking by. Then the real battle can begin. Brace yourself, Mithra. What? This is a piece of cake. Just grab someone walking by. Okay, first up. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Nia, you're just the person. You're right on time. Hey, Cora Mithra, what do you mean by that, dare I even ask? We're having a showdown. We want to determine who's got the most girl power. A girl power off. Ah, that. So you're going ahead with it for real? Just take a seat here, will you? And now tell us, who has the most girl power, Mithra or me? You want me to... Uh, I guess it's fine, I have time. Okay, let's get to it. But how are you going to take each other on exactly? Well, we thought we'd try girl talk first. Just tell us who's got the most girly talk in terms of content and delivery. Got it. So for the first topic, um, it's a bit basic, but how about favorite food? Yeah, sounds good. Let's get started at last. So Nia, tell me, what is your favorite food exactly? Oh, I'm on the spot now. I guess cream orange paratha. Oh really? I didn't think you'd have such adorable tastes. I don't care, I just eat stuff I like. I'm just surprised, that's all. I thought you'd be more of a meat and fish sort of girl. Ah no, that's a bit boring for me. So Nia, I'd like to ask you something. Fill your boots. What do you think of Dromark? I mean as a man cat. Cat man? Man cat. Hey, where did that come from? I thought we were talking about food. That's so weird. But when girls get together, this is the stuff we really want in Onia. Ah, uh, yes, failing the Bechdel test. <laughs> this kind of girls-only banter is an important component of girl power, Nia. Oh no, I um, I wasn't trying to win anything like that. I'm just really interested in you, Nia. Like he's always following you around, like my lady, my lady, and I just kind of thought, what's up with that? Well, honestly, I don't really give it much thought. He awakened and just started talking to me like that. So what? But I mean, you must have noticed that he's a man, or a male, I mean. We're kind of joined at the hip, but that just makes me think of him as a butler or a parent or something. He's a bit of a nag sometimes, but he's just looking out for me, you know? Hey, why am I telling you all this? You know, if I'm going to my room... Ah, <laughs> uh, I was just getting good. The judge walked out. I guess this one's a draw. Yeah, agreed. 
Okay, let's try another bout. What's the hot topic right now? Uh huh. Oh yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Hmm, it's kind of quiet. Looks like everyone's just hanging back in their rooms. Well, we may as well pass the time. Mithra, why don't you ask me what my favorite food is? Okay, well, Cora, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is, wait for it, blossom custard. I like the little white flowers inside, and it has this appealing wobbly texture to it. It's smooth and sweet when it hits your tongue. Yeah, I don't think it'd be hyperbole to say that foods like blossom custard boost one's girl power by 1000%. Hey, come on, you're exaggerating again. Huh? Well, how about you, Mithra? For me, it's gotta be cloud sea crab sticks. Seriously? Yeah, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. If you ask me, it's the best way to get the full flavor of cloud sea crab. No, 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 come on. You can't seriously crab sticks, really? They're just a bit... Well, to be honest, they're a kind of thing that brings your girl power down instead of boosting it. Hey, what's wrong with cr cloud sea crab sticks? They're lovely. Cora, don't you think this is going crazy over sweet things is a bit, well, basic? Well, IMHO, they're a lot better than fishy old crab sticks. I think we can both agree I won this round. I got the most girl power. I think not. I hardly think we can declare a winner without a judge. And this wasn't really a proper test. It was just a bit of chit-chat. You can't just make up rules like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. Doesn't look like anyone's going to show up, though. But we need to settle this. Two whole hours passed. No way. I was just having so much fun. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Hello, Mithra. Hello, Cora. What are Mithra and Cora doing? Poppy, you turned up at just the right time. As it happens, Cora and I are facing off to see who has the most girl power. We'd like to ask you to judge. Understood. Poppy here to help. Poppy's just the sort to give us an impartial measurement of our girl power. Okay, we can talk about some real girl stuff now. Who we're into. That's what it's all about, huh? Cora, can't you change it up a bit? You're obsessed with this topic. How about you, Poppy? Hey, I'd be pretty curious to hear how you'd answer that, Poppy. Poppy not really sure what Cora is talking about. We're telling each other who our special someone is, Poppy. I mean, like, who do you like? Poppy likes everyone! Uh, no, that's not what she means. Poppy think girl power have other aspects, like organizing life and fulfilling goals. Poppy have extensive subroutines and software libraries for making life successful. Based on criteria like task completion, punctuality, and efficiency, Poppy have much girl power. Hmm, uh, I guess she's right. Uh, yeah, I have a bit of a blind spot for that sort of thing. So according to Poppy's calculation, winner is Poppy! Please applaud! Hey, we can't settle it just like that. Yeah, we have no hope of winning against Poppy's robotic brain. Looks like another draw. Yep. Right, so for the next topic... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Oh, Mithra and Cora. Could you be in the midst of your big girl off? Oh, Pandora. We need you to judge us on our girl power driven chatting skills. Sounds fun, I'm game. So what do we talk about? So far we've done favorite foods and romance talk. Oh yeah, romance talk, huh? So do you two have a certain special someone in your sights? Ah, uh, well that's certainly an interesting topic, but there's no one right now. Uh, same here. Oh, Mithra, you're a closed book, aren't you? I think there is a. S I think there is someone. A certain no. There's no one. I swear. What about you, Pandora? Who do you like? Yeah, fess up. What about Zeke? Do you think he? Do you think that could go somewhere? 
No, I, I don't think of the prince like that. He's so pig-headed and insensitive. Nothing gets through to him. I think you must have been paying a fair bit of attention to him to make an observation like that. Come on. What do you really think about the old Zekanator? Spill it. No, I won't. I won't tell you. <laughs> she runs off. There she goes. Pandora is surprisingly shy, huh? Well, we've lost another judge. I guess it's another draw. Oh well, can't be helped. It's nearly the next day and we're st we still haven't run out of things to talk about. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. If we just keep drawing, we're never going to be able to determine a winner. Hey, Cora, Mithra, have you two been ch here chatting the whole time? Actually, we're trying to work out which one of us has the most girl power. Yeah, Praxis, could you educate for us? Hey, wait a sec. Are you sure we should ask Praxis? I mean, maybe we should ask someone who's a bit more girly. Hmm. Yes, perhaps she's not the best candidate. If I'm being honest, she's probably not up to the task. Hey, you don't have to keep going on and on about it, you know. Anyway, if it's girl power you're after, I'll have you know I've got plenty. More, in fact. Huh? No way. But you're so untidy and always losing things in your mess. And when you eat, the food goes everywhere. Ugh. You think girl power is all about waltzing about like a little butterfly? No! It's about being true to yourself. Don't you think that means you don't have much girl power? Yeah, yeah, I don't really think you should stop leaping into the bath like you always do. I'll tell you what, you two can f just figure out a winner amongst yourselves. What a couple of jerks, I've had enough. Uh, maybe we did say a bit too much there. Maybe we should take her, maybe we should take her a little something later to try and make it up. Yeah, I think so. So the thing that everyone's talking about right now is... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. No one's coming past. Ah, waiting around's no good. Let's go and look for someone. Oh, hello, you two. Are you taking a little constitutional? Is that what you're doing? Why, yes. I always take a little stroll in the night air. It aids sleep. Huh, really? Bridget, we'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind chatting with us for a bit and then telling us which one of us has the most girl power? Oh, a thrilling contest, I'm sure. Certainly, I'd be happy to join in. Thank you. Well, since we have Bridget here, should we talk about beauty? Yeah, that's a topic I'm pretty confident on. My cleanse, tone, and moisturize routine takes some beating, I tell you. And I'm always practicing throwing cute poses in front of the mirror. If I may say, that's a rather narrow way to define beauty, Cora. I'm not sure beauty is something you practice. It's something you radiate from within. I don't think I really need to go to those links to look good. I always aim for new heights of beauty. It's like one of my life goals. Ever onward. Always pushing the very boundaries of beauty. Certainly it's good to set yourself goals. A little healthy rivalry doesn't hurt either. Of course, the rivalry should always be handled graciously. So I'd say this one's a draw, girls. Huh? What? I think you both need to grow spiritually a little before you can really hold forth about beauty. <laughs> now that's a burn. Uh, wait for it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us turn right, this yeah. farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Hey, silence. You have disturbed the royal slumber. This we cannot forgive, even if you are way cute. It's really not good for your looks to stay up like this. For our sake, why don't you go to bed yourselves? Sheba! Mithra and I are trying to settle who's got the most girl power. We really think you ought to have included us from the start, but it sounds fun nevertheless. We want you to judge which one of us has the most girl power, Sheba. Very well, we will oversee your contest. Okay, let's get down to it. Let's talk about who we're into. Wow, that really is all you think about. So, Sheba, 
Tell us what qualities your ideal man would have. Okay, um... I wonder what her answers to that one's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, you only like girls. Ah, so Mithra actually has it. Okay. So I'd be interested to hear what kind of guy you'd be into, if you were, that is. Well, we suppose a man must be financially solvent. Financially solvent? Yes, who likes to share? But of course, we imagine there are other vital traits. If we were interested, excellent manners and breeding would be a must. For example, he'd need to know how to serve tea, scrub a bathtub, and have a nice villa by the lake. Don't you think that's a little... That's a lot, Sheba. You're really setting the bar high for us girls. It's just as well that we prefer girls. A man who'd meet our requirements would be a rare creature. We've not really managed to talk up a storm so far. Well, maybe we haven't had the best partners so far. I'm sure the next one will be better. It's going to be Vale, isn't it? Three o'clock already? Why, I feel as if I only just got started. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us turn right, this yeah. farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Okay, I have to admit, I didn't see this one coming. I should have, but I didn't. I heard from Nia about your little contest. Are you still at it? Yeah, it's all good. Maybe you can judge our girl power for us, Morag. Well, I only came out here to get some water, but of course, why not? Morag, do you ever desire a bit of romance? I'm a soldier of the Ardanian Empire. Romance would divert valuable time away from perfecting my military arts. Don't you get sick of all that fighting? No, as it happens. Nothing beats cultivating one's character together with one's friends. It's an enjoyable and worthwhile activity. This is how I've always looked at it. <sighs> A true martial artist from start to finish. Can't help but admire that drive. Morag, you take life too seriously. Don't you ever just want to take a break? No, not at all. To be honest, I think you and all our blades here are lacking dedication. If you were Ardanian army blades, you'd be living a much more focused life, I can tell you. Ardanian blades would never stay up half the night in frivolous chatter. They'd rest up for the next day. A first-rate fighter never lets up on her training. This applies all the more while you're young. You need to be strict with your routine and rid yourself of bad habits. Uh, Morag. You got your point across pretty clearly there, Morag. Thanks so much. No, I haven't finished yet. You two need to reaffirm your commitment to the warrior life. And you should sit there quietly and listen. And don't even think about running off. What? <laughs> uh, this is actually getting kind of stale, but I can't pull out now. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us turn right, this yeah. farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Uh, I'm really quite tired now. Yeah, me too. But this is exactly the sort of time when you need to be able to perk yourself up. Well, there's no one here. Why don't we talk about fashion or something to pass the time? Sure, why not? How about accessories? I love accessories. I mean, I like wearing them, of course, but just looking at them is fun, too. What kind of things do you like, Cora? Hmm, I guess I'm really into flowers. Flowers are so pretty, cute, and stylish. I kind of, I feel kind of healed whenever I look at them. They're great worn in the hair. Don't you think that's a little childish? Huh? Childish or not, I like what I like. There's no changing that. I'd say that's a win to me. Hey, that's not fair. I'm cuter. I should win. You're a poor loser, Cora. But there's no one here to judge. We can't decide who won with no judge. Let's call it another draw, then. It's starting to look like we might not be able to find a winner. Ah, oh, it's morning already, and I got a real humdinger of a zinger for you that'll perk you up like hot java. It's... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us right, turn yeah. this farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Hey, still up? I knew Vale was going to come eventually. <laughs> All the blades with girl power have been getting involved here. Yeah, we're trying to figure out which of us has the most girl power. We're comparing our girl talk skills. Vale, since you're here, will you be our judge? 
Sure, I'll be fair and frank. You look great even in the middle of the night, Vale. Hmm, the darkness matches my soul, I suppose. I, after all, I am what they call a night stalker. What are you talking about, Vale? I said I'm a night stalker. Deal with it. Only the chosen ones can wield the power of darkness. That's how you know I'm a night stalker. Only the light bearer can resist one such as me. Light and dark are in a constant struggle, a never-ending war known as the Sacred Contest. We can serve our power and stand poised, each staring at the other with the coiled power of a hungry tiger. But one dawn, the dark shall surely be victorious, and a new world of Night Stalker domination will be reborn. Yes, I wait patiently for the dawn of that black sun. Mithra, do you know what she's talking about? Not a word of it. I've never heard of anything like it, not even 500 years ago. Ah, uh, Vale, she's certainly special. She sure is. <laughs> Got a little bit distracted there. Ah, uh, it's no good. I'm done. I'm all talked out. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Let us turn right, this yeah. farce okay. into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. Ah, uh, we're kind of in a bind here. Yeah, no kidding. Every bout so far has ended in a draw. Who'd have thought it? At this rate, the sun will be up before we know who's got the most girl power. I'm sure the next person who comes by will be able to help us. Let's just agree to go. Let's agree to just go with whatever they say. Okay, who's it going to be? Rex. Got it. <laughs> nope, Nia again. Nia, good timing, girl. Huh? What is it? I don't know if I'm up for any more of your weird games. No, it's nothing strange. We just want you to tell us who has the most girl power, me or Cora. Girl power? Huh? You still aren't done with your stupid contest yet? Hey, come on, just give us an answer. Don't hold back. Just serve it as it comes. Out with it, Nia. It's me, right? I've got the most girl power. No way, I've got more girl power in my little finger. You need to back that up with something, Mithra. All your girl power is in your mouth. That's what you think, right, Nia? No, that's not what you think at all, is it, Nia? Uh, okay, I decided. Who is it? I decided not to take part in this bloody farce. Nia? Wait! Hey, looks like the sun should be up before long. What time is it? Uh, it's seven o'clock. I guess the contest is over. Oh, so it is. But we don't really have a clear winner yet. Indeed. Cora, I'm starting to get the measure of you now. I hate to admit it, but you do have more girl power than me. Well, that's really big of you, Mithra. You're my only rival when it comes to girl power. I salute you. <laughs> uh, well, I'm pooped, but it was fun. Sure was. I had a great time. Maybe we should do it again sometime. Yeah, pinky promise. <clears throat> Uh, everyone? So, how come you're all gathered together? Well now, your little contest might be over, girls. But, there's one more judgment to make. It's about all your reckless gallivanting. Time for a little court-martial, I think. Uh-huh, uh, well, uh... Hey, listen, didn't we help you discover your inner girl power, too? Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. No? No. Definitely no. I think you need punishing. Really?
You can't go around doing stuff like that. Sorry. You should think about all the hassle you've caused us. I know, sorry. Make sure it sinks in. I... we will. Is that a promise? It's a promise. In that case, the epic contest concludes without a victor. That means two losers and two forfeits. Ah, great idea, Morag. Huh? Not so fast. Something wrong? Mm, uh, <sighs> nothing. Why does this stuff keep happening to me? Mithra, don't complain. You talk the talk, now dance the dance. Gah! This is the pit! Yeah, the audience doesn't seem to be enjoying it. If you want to blather about shoes all night, be my guest. Just leave me out of it. But I think you already knew that from when I got angry with you. Yeah, I get it now. But, sometimes it's fun to get caught up in conversation, don't you think? I hope we'll get a chance for a little tete a tete sometime soon. Well, okay. We'll have to fix this some more actors and find us and give us a lecture. Okay. <clears throat> a nearly half hour long cutscene of just that. Huh. <laughs> the contest ends with no clear winner, and both contestants are forced to perform the forfeit by irate comrades. Alright then. Cora just got a whole bunch of stuff. That should completely fill in her affinity chart. And Poppy got another trust rank. Up to S3. Still has a ways to go. Let's see. Poppy QT is up to S1, but Poppy QT Pies only at C rank. Hmm. Maybe I should pop another love source into Taurus Pouch. Well, I'll worry about that later. Could also think about popping a love source into Zeke's Pouch. Shiba is so close. I have to get the Armu Milk Earl Grey. It's going to be a little while before this is even available. Ooh, look at that. She needs a lot of trust. Mithra's complete. Again, Nia has some distance. Not a lot, though. She's nearly at the top. And there we go. It's like a glimpse of the real me. Thank you for staying around. Uh, I hope you're not tired of me yet, or that we're not in some kind of rut. Oh, I miss the excitement of the early days. Anyway, that's to say, don't you dare replace me, yeah? Cool, that's incredible. <laughs> well, Cora, I'm sorry to say, now that your affinity chart's completely filled in, you're going to be going back to the bench. Hate to break it to you. has a bit of ways to go. Okay. Now that's done. Let's see. 
So this was Zenobia. I've been so bored. I was about to go out hunting solo. And this is Cosmos. Readied for departure, Master. And then, let's see. I really do want an electric blade. I don't have many convenient choices, though. I guess I could bring in Vess. Electra is has her affinity chart at max. Harold, eh. Harold has some really good points to recommend her, but I'm not too big a fan. Hmm. Let's go with Vess. I will attend to your every need, at least for fighting. Let's see, and how is she doing, in fact? Okay, yeah, she still has a ways to go also. So, yeah, let's keep Vess out for the time being. Now, I wanted to have Pyra out front. And next... This one's been... I've been sitting on this one for a long time. Zenobia gathers everyone to confess her desire to fight terrible monsters. Mithra has one in mind. Go to the, the library in Elmo Square, Tantal to get more information about the legendary monster. I happen to be in Tantal. Let's see. So we need all the drivers except Rex and Mithra, along with uh, Zenobia, of course. So, the library, eh? Is that like the bookstore? Or is this it? It's a pretty humongous library, right? There's more than 10 million books in here, you know? Well, I don't know much about this kind of thing, but that sounds like a lot. This place has basically got every single book from every time and place. If there's a clue, it must be here. Yeah, no doubt. You hear that, Mega Beast? We're coming for you. Hey, why don't we split up and look for it? <sighs> All that searching turned up nothing. Sorry about that, Zenobia. No, it's hardly your fault, Pandoria. It's fine. Wow, she sounds seriously gutted. I guess getting your hopes up that high only sets you up for disappointment. Ah, Zenobia, it breaks my heart to see you so crestfallen. Someone must know about this sealed up legendary beast. Wouldn't be much of a legend if they didn't. Excuse me, my prince. Did you perchance mention a sealed up legendary beast? Huh? Sorry, mate. Do I know you? Apologies, my prince. My name is Zaman. I'm a wandering bard. Oh yeah, he must be the guy who plays in the in the inn. There's actually a song about the legendary sealed up beast in the corpus of poetry that I hold dear. I was reminded of it when I heard you speak of it. Your centaurian tones certainly carry, my prince. You've heard of it? What does it say about it in this song of yours? <clears throat> it's the epic tale of a band of heroes who sealed away the infamous and vile creature. The heroes set out, together with their loyal blades and many allies. But the beast was strong. Its vile power was the sort that could grind a whole nation to dust. For this reason, they called the fiend Thanatobeast Andres. Wow, what a cool name. It must have really been something. The mighty heroes commanded great power, yet it was not enough to fell the beast with finality. They laid down their lives, but all they could do was seal it away. In the song, they used four seal stones to bind its monstrosity. So that it remained locked away, they hid the stones in four different lands. Okay, great. So where do I find these stones, then? Well, according to the song... One, the Stone of Earth, is in the land of Verdant Forest. Another, the Stone of Fire, in a sweltering waste. The Stone of Water abides in the watery land of Eternal Spring. The last, of Wind, in a tiny country blessed by sea breeze. That's what the song says, anyway. So what are we waiting for? Let's go find those stones. Uh, may I ask, what will you do if you find those stones? That's easy. We'll smash them and bring Th Thanato Beast Andres back to life. 
Then I'll smash him up till he's well and truly decked. You mean you're going to defeat Thanato Beast Andros? <laughs> that really is very amusing. You must be the very first person I've met who's taken that old tale seriously. Yeah, I believe it. Mithra here had heard of it too. By the way, where is this thing sealed away exactly? Maybe there's a hint about it in the song or something. Ah, indeed. So, what is it? Actually, I forgot. What? How could you forget the most important part? To be honest, I never thought anyone would want to find it. But have no fear, I believe my old mentor will know the rest of the song. I'll ask him about it before you remove the four seals. When you've done that, meet me at Anastasia's. Okay, we better start looking for those stones then. May you be successful. Alright. One of them's in Gormont. And I've already found it. One of them's in Lefteria. I've already found it too. One of them's in Uriah. I haven't found it, but I know exactly where it is. And then there's obviously one in uh, Morardain, but that one I'm not too sure about. Yeah, I'm not sure where the Seal of Fire would be. A sweltering Waste? That sounds like more Ardain to me. A watery Land of Eternal Spring. I guess that's a fair ex uh, description of Uriah. A tiny country blessed by sea breeze? That's Lotharia. Alright. Gourmet. Let's see, upper level left. It's not too far away from Uman's shipyard. I think it's like halfway between the two skip travel points, actually. Let's start at the shipyard and go backwards. We came a pretty long way, eh? Come out, come out, bad guys! Alright. So it's down a ladder. Well, down some vines. But it might as well be a ladder. I think it's over here. Yep, this must be it. Boy, the way those... Uh, Turkin's levels were overlapping each other. It looked like it said there was a 110 level enemy over there. I was like, whoa, okay, super boss. Quite a view. The cloud sea is low, so you can see the Titan's entire spine, or whatever that is. Anyway, here's the Seal Stone of Earth. Happy power! Whoa! Earth mastery, my old nemesis. Uh, You've got some Earth Mastery Blades. I'll shine on the front line, too! Puppy power! Whoa! I think I'll show you my power! Boom. Okay. Hmm. The objectives are not on the compass. Hmm. That's going to make this a bit more annoying, at least to find the fire seal. Well, let's go find the one that I definitely know about. Let's see. Cloudway, Fonset end of the Lude Cloudway.
came a pretty long way, eh? Come out, come out, bad guys! Okay, it's basically on top of that island straight ahead. So we slide down and launch ourselves off the ramp on the right there. Ow. Well, darn it. Back up we go. We're here. So, shall we? Okay. Darn it, how come I keep on flying off in that direction? I'm trying to... Uh, this is getting on my nerves. I've not had troubles like this before. Off we go! Where to, Master Pond? There we go, finally got it. I'm not sure exactly what I did differently, but... Eh. Whatever. Zenobia wanted to fight the unique bird monster at the top of this before, didn't she? So I've been up here before. And I saw the seal. But I didn't do anything with it. Because I figured better to save it for later. You know, when it was actually time to do this. Yep, I've been here before, that's for sure. Seal Stone of Wind. Puppy power! Whoa! Can I stir up some wind? You can, but not enough, apparently. Oh, man. Wind of Mastery this time. Morag, do you have any? You do? How much? Level two? I think that's enough. Looking forward to working with you again. Too bad Finch doesn't have Happy any. Power. She's a wind Whoa! Blade. Can I stir up some wind? Happy to! <laughs> Can I stir up some wind? Yeah, happy to. Okay. Yeah. That fire seal. I'm going to have to look that one up. I'm absolutely certain I know where the water seal is. Let's see. So, stomach. Crown of Sanctuary. And then we got to fall down into the water below. Meh, meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Where to, Master Pon? Okay. Uh, okay, there's dry land underneath. That would be inconvenient to land in. Oh, Poppy's just gonna s s head straight on down. Oops. Get the water. Ugh. Okay. That could have been bad. Okay, where is it? It's along this wall somewhere, but I don't remember where exactly. I think it's along this wall. Seal stone's in there. I'm pretty sure I can see it. But I need to drain the water. 
And the drain is what I was actually looking for. Where was it? I think it's right down there. Yeah. Puppy power! Whoa! Earth mastery again. Ah. Keep having to switch back and forth. That's getting really irritating. I'll shine on the front line too. I think I'll show you my power. Puppy power. Whoa. Surprised that didn't wash us away. Just wait till you see this. I know all there is about water. Puppy power. Whoa. Okay, at least I had the water master for this. Okay, so I've got three of the four. Okay, Morag. See who did I have out? I think it was Harold. I will carry out my mission. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so now the problem is Where's the Firestone? Hmm. It's in more ordain, that much I'm sure of. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Okay. When I don't know something, look it up. Let's see here. Uh. Okay. Right, here's some info. There we go. At the abandoned excavation. Right, now I remember. I have seen it. I don't remember if I saw it in this playthrough, but I've seen it before. It's right here. Let's rest the spell. So, shall we? Yeah, I've definitely seen this before. I call upon the power fire, of fire. Fire, guide me. Puppy power. Whoa! I trust you. Okay. Go back to Anastasia's and talk to Zaman again. Let's see. Tantal, Theoswar, Anastasius. Whew. 
Let's rest a spell. So? Shall we? Don't tell me it has to be evening. Ah. Evening, night, or very early morning. Okay, well, we can fix that, can't we? There he is. Here we are. Have you really removed the four seals? Yep. Did you expect anything less? How about you? Did you manage to get the location of Thanado Beast Andres from your old teacher? Indeed I did. You'll find the fiend at Zatara Spring in Temperantia. Temperantia? Makes sense. If I was a Thanato Beast, that's probably where I'd be snoozing. Well, better get going. Please, one moment. You won't find the Thanato Beast simply by going to Zatara Spring. Huh? Is that right? Apparently, there's one more seal tying it down to the place of its slumber. To break it, you'll need to destroy four more seal stones. The stones of light, darkness, thunder, and ice. More sealing? This is really very complicated. They must have felt like they needed to bind it up really tightly. I bet it was something unimaginably terrible, huh? Yes, really most horrible monster. If this isn't the baddest-ass monster to ever disgrace the world, I won't be able to contain my disappointment. Well, we know the place now. Let's go to the Terra Spring and break the last seal. Then we can finally take care of Thanos to beat Andras. Zenobia, wait for Tora! <laughs> yeah, don't you know we can just skip travel? Remove the seal of light, thunder, ice, and darkness. Uh, this is the same place where we fought uh, that large bird whose name I've completely blanked on all of a sudden. Ravenwing Skull? Something like that. Okay, there isn't a skip travel point straight there, so Ardanian Garrison looks to be the closest spot. <sighs> meh, meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Where to, right over there. Home? Though I'm thinking I'm going to have to leave this fight for the next episode. Because we're getting pretty close to where I'm going to have to stop. I'm running out of time out here in the real world. Oh, yeah, look, there's the four seal stones. Dora, just take a peek here. Yeah. Agriculture's poppy specialist field. Okay, so what was this guy's name again? Ravenwing Skull, yeah. We don't need to fight him again. Hmm. That definitely looks like a place where there's been a... a uh, rock slide. They collapsed the wall around this Thanato Beast, whatever his name and then put all these seal stones in place. Well... Yeah, I'm basically out of time, unfortunately. I just uh, don't have a lot of recording time right now, so yeah, I'm going to have to 
in the episode here. Well, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the next episode, we'll take on Thanato Beast, what's his name? And then... I think it'll be time to finally stop delaying our climb up the world tree and get back to that. That's the plan as it stands right now. And I will see you then.